Hi guys, this is Meenu. Welcome back to my channel, Story Tale. This week I have read Everyone Has a Story by Savi Sharma. This year I have challenged myself to read books from every alphabet, like from A to Z. I've already read many books that start with different alphabets. Of course, there were still some that were left. I was also left with the alphabet E. I did not read any book this year that started with E. So that is why I picked up Everyone Has a Story. I actually wanted to give this book a read anyway because this is one of the most popular book in India and it has been in my TBS for a very long time. By the end of the year, I'm going to be doing a video where I'm going to tell you what are the books that I read from A to Z. Of course, the most difficult ones are going to be X, Y and Z. I know that, but I already have books lined up. So let's see if I finish it or not, because I somehow am never able to finish any of my challenges. But this year, I'm going to try really hard. Anyway, let's talk about Everyone Has a Story. So I'm not a very big fan of Savi Sharma. I did not actually enjoy her last book, which was Stories You Never Tell. It was good in certain places. I really loved that it was talking about mental health and everything but it was a little bit too philosophical for me it was like a little bit boring too i did not enjoy it that much but now that i have read everyone has a story i think that one was much much better so everyone has a story when it first came out it was like one of the most popular book it was marketed really well because everywhere on my facebook feed i could just see this book everywhere and at the time of course i did not pick up the book anyway but at the time i thought that this book has a base which has like story of different people because even the synopsis is that way so i really thought that this book is about story of different people just like the title of the book suggests so when i started this book i was like really hopeful because i thought maybe this book is really good that is why people are loving it so much but when i read it i was just so much disappointed this is not the story of many people as i thought earlier this is basically a story of two people which is Meera and Vivan. There are also other two side characters, Kabir and Nisha. But they were supposed to be the main characters. At least that is what we have read in the synopsis. So I thought they would be the main characters. But we have only two main characters here. And we get the point of view of those people only. Like we get the point of view of only Meera and Vivan. There are not many side characters in the book, not even the parents. There is like no one in this book except for these four people. There are a few strangers in this book, but they are only there to just give philosophical advice or the love advice something you know but other than that they're just main four characters i normally give a like and dislike section but here i'm not gonna do that because there was nothing great about this book i did not like anything about this book in particular to be honest i did not enjoy the story because there was none i did not enjoy the characters because they were dull I did not enjoy actually anything about this book. I did not even see the logic behind this book. So the story starts with Meera who is this aspiring writer. She wants to become a published writer just like I am. But anyway, so she goes to this cafe and there's this Kabir who is a friend of her who always brings her coffee. So she goes to this cafe which I think is a very cool cafe to be honest. I would really actually love to visit one. In this cafe, there is a lot of authors meet, like many authors come to actually talk about their book. So I think that was a very interesting cafe. I'm pretty sure there are many in this city, which I do not know anything about. But anyway, the whole setup was actually good. And then there's this author who actually talks about a little bit about life. And then he just picks up Meera and then asks about her. I do not actually remember the question, to be honest. I do not care about that. And there was another person that he asked who was Vivan. So that is their first meeting and from the first meeting they started to like each other and uh, there was this one thing that uh, Vivan said that kind of inspired Meera to actually you know write a story and which was that he wants to just travel like he says that he does not have much time in the world so just wants to travel so he has not been able to do that for I do not know why he does not have any other family so I do not see the point why he did not was able to actually travel anywhere I mean I guess that he works but he's kind of rich also so I do not know I do not know don't ask me this question anyway I do not know how this is inspiring because there are many people in this world who actually wants to travel so that is not something that you know very unique about Vivan just admitted that he's handsome and that is why she you know wants to write a story about her but anyway she writes this beautiful prose about him which you know everyone actually loved you know what i hate about some of the books that the main character are always very good at the thing that they do they are never mediocre i mean like they are not ever average they are always have to be you know the best like they are very unique they have some a factor they are like the best in whatever art or craft that they do 
and of course the same case is here anyway somehow their romance developed which is like non-existent for me it was like for one or two pages i did not enjoy that anyway it was so boring and so dull but anyway from their meeting point their story and love actually develops she writes about vivan and her story which was like very much unoriginal because once like he's not there she was not even able to complete her story so what she was just inspiring and she just left the story incomplete she does not have any imagination of her own so i do not know but anyway even the side characters did not have that much of a story it was more of a tell than show to be honest because Kabir tells his whole love story in like a chapter so we get introduced to fourth uh, character which is Nisha and like she barely has any pages in this book and she is there in the last pages just to give advice because that is what most of the people are doing in this book this book is just so philosophical like it's talk about life that much it was like I do not know too much cliche I did not enjoy it at all it was like it was giving me a lot of monologues which I did not actually ask for this book is just 184 pages so of course there was not enough time for the characters to develop for the story to develop for the romance to develop there was barely any conflict in it this is gonna be a spoiler filled review I'm gonna talk a little bit of spoilers to be honest there was nothing much in this book to be spoiled there was no twist or anything so I'm just going to give you a warning because I'm going to talk about some points, some major points in this book, which were like non-existing anyway. But anyway, I'm just going to give you a warning. So after a case that Meera and Vivan shares, Vivan disappears the next day. I think that was a very dick move. That was like very bad ghosting someone like that. I think that is the worst thing that you can do to a person. He just disappears like that. I mean, he just, you know, literally he quits his job. He just goes to this different countries. He does not tell any of his friends. He did not say anything to anyone. No one he said anything to. So I think that was a really bad move. He was like being a jerk. And in this journey, everyone is just giving him philosophical advice which I think was really boring and very predictable. I mean, it was very predictable. The whole story is very predictable. You cannot deny it. The moment you pick up the book, you know you what's going to happen. For a minute, I thought that he actually have cancer or brain tumor, something like that. Or maybe he's going to die by the end of the book. That is why he's traveling so much. Something that is why he, you know, have this dream of just traveling the world because he just want to complete it before he actually dies. But that does not actually happen. He just went away because okay fine he has a very sad backstory and i was really behind that i thought that was really sad and that was really really heartbreaking but the way it was told it was so badly done i mean it was such a good backstory it could have been elaborated more i mean it could have been shown in a very better way i mean he, he was just telling the story which i hate this could have been done in a different way I mean, the story was really, really sad. So I think that could have been utilized in a very better way. Kabir and Nisha are just there to being friends and being supportive. They do not have any other life other than these two people, apparently. There are one or two stupid things in this book that I'm going to tell you. The first one is when Vivan comes back from his trip from all around the world, he says to Nisha, who is, you know, kind of scolding her, but not actually scolding her. Like, she's just telling him stuff. And he tells her that I did not know that this is going to hurt Meera. Are you stupid? Are you dull? You did not, you did not imagine, you did not imagine that this is going to hurt her. And he also said that he did not think that there was something more than friendship between them. Excuse me. Did you not just kiss her right before you left? So what was that? Are you just acting dumb or you're just plain dumb? I do not understand. The other stupid thing is what Meera does. So after this, this fight between Vivan and Meera, which was kind of stupid fight because Vivan was actually telling her his backstory and that was really sad. So her acting angry was a little bit stupid. I can understand that she has a lot of anger. But at that moment when the story was just so sad, I do not think that is the way you behave with someone who is actually opening your heart to you. And she does regret it later. but. The, her action just, you know, is there for the convenience of the plot. She's just angry in one second and then she just goes to this trekking. I never knew in this book that she was even a little bit adventurous, to be honest. So why did she just went to this, I think, Rai Fort or Rai Gad, I do not know. She would just went there and then she just started climbing fort or mountains. I do not, I do not remember actually. But anyway, she just started climbing and then she falls down. So that was the kind of conflict that came out of nowhere. It was like, why? Why did she even do that? Why actually what happened? I mean, it was just like the convenience of the plot that she just happened to, you know, go to trekking. She just happened to fall. 
so i do not know that was just again one illogical thing or dumb thing and the other illogical thing in this book is that there are like no parents involved whatsoever i mean meera was in hospital for so long she was like in for months and she was like literally paralyzed and there was like n- no parents of her i do not actually remember her being an orphan if there was then i'm really sorry for bringing that out but i don't think she was an orphan and there was like no parents in war whatsoever there was like zero adult people in this work so i do not know what is happening and this book was just 180 pages i think it needed a lot of work i, I think it needed a lot of time to deal with the characters to deal with the story i think don't, i don't think i do not know this book was just it was much much worse then stories we never tell stories we never tell would actually was pretty good compared to this one stories we never tell actually did have a story to tell the two characters did have a lot of layers to it so i actually enjoyed it but these four characters they were like i do not know cliched characters i did not care about them i did not care about the story this book was a total disappointment i am really disappointed with i do not know savi sharma i did not enjoy her story i do not know this book was just marketed well for i do not know why i think there are a lot of better stories than this one if i'm going to have to rate this book i'm going to give it one star because there was nothing actually good in this book for me to give anything more than that however i'm really curious to know what you think of this book of course this is one of the most bought or most popular book in india so of course there must be something about this book that actually people love so do let me know in the comments down below what you love about this book or you are one of those people who did not like it like me So do let me know in the comments down below and of course I will see you next time do not forget to subscribe have a great day